Welcome to an extraordinary journey through the records of American history, as we uncover the incredible story of how labor unions transformed the USA. From sweatshop laborers to factory workers, men and women from all walks of life came together to form a formidable force that forever changed the fate of the American worker. Let's start at the beginning. In the late 19th century, the Industrial Revolution brought significant changes to the American workforce. New factories and industries were developing across the country. While this brought economic growth, it also led to poor working conditions for many employees. Workers faced long hours, dangerous conditions, and low wages. Take the example of steel workers in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In the 1870s, they worked 12-hour days, six days a week. The heat and smoke in the mills were harsh. Accidents were common, leading to loss of limbs and even death in some cases. The average steel worker made about $9 a week, which, adjusted for inflation today, would be around $200 a week. It was nearly impossible for workers to support a family on such meager wages. But out of these struggles emerged the labor union movement. Real-life examples like the Knights of Labor and the American Federation of Labor fought for workers' rights and fair treatment. These unions paved the way for collective bargaining, better wages, and improved working conditions. In 1886, a pivotal moment took place. The Haymarket Affair in Chicago. What started as a peaceful protest for an eight-hour workday turned into a tragic event when a bomb exploded, leading to widespread violence. The aftermath led to the persecution of labor leaders, but it also ignited a renewed sense of unity among workers. As the 20th century dawned, the labor movement gained momentum, with workers organizing strikes and demanding better treatment. One of the most iconic movements was the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire in 1911. This devastating event claimed the lives of 146 workers, mostly young women. The tragedy became a turning point in labor history, sparking demands for improved safety regulations. Labor unions played a crucial role in fighting for workers' rights. They championed the eight-hour workday, weekends, and paid leave. Through strikes, protests, and negotiations, Unions like the United Mine Workers and the International Ladies Garment Workers Union fought against child labor, discrimination, and unfair treatment. In 1935, a significant milestone arrived, the passage of the National Labor Relations Act, NLRA. This groundbreaking legislation protected workers' rights to unionize and collectively bargain with employers. The NLRA established the National Labor Relations Board, NLRB, giving workers a powerful ally to defend their interests. Let's look at the real-life example of William Ross. In the 1940s, he worked on the assembly line at a Ford Motor Company plant in Michigan. As a union auto worker, he worked only 40 hours a week and earned $1.50 an hour which was double the national manufacturing average at the time. With his stable union wages, he was able to buy a nice house, take regular vacations, and send his children to college. This middle-class lifestyle was made possible by the efforts of labor unions. The labor movement experienced unprecedented growth, with workers from various industries joining the ranks of labor unions. Iconic labor leaders like Walter Ruther, who led the United Automobile Workers, UAW, became champions of workers' rights and social justice causes. The impact of labor unions extended beyond the workplace. By advocating for fair wages and benefits, unions helped create a thriving middle class, boosting consumer spending and driving economic growth. They also played a vital role in advancing civil rights, fighting against racial and gender discrimination. Real-life examples like the Civil Rights Movement and the Equal Pay Act demonstrate how labor unions fought for equality and social justice. However, union membership has declined dramatically since its peak in the 1950s. Today, 
only about 11% of U.S. workers are union members. This has coincided with growing income inequality and the decline of middle-class jobs in America. As the U.S. faced economic challenges in the 1970s, labor unions adapted, continuing to fight for workers' rights while navigating changing industries. The fight for gender and racial equality became intertwined with labor movement, as unions played a crucial role in the civil rights movement. Some of the major challenges facing labor unions in the United States today are Declining membership As mentioned before, union membership has declined dramatically since the 1950s. This reduces their bargaining power and resources. Young workers in particular are less likely to join unions. Opposition from companies Many companies actively work to discourage unionization efforts among their workers. Some threaten to close locations or outsource jobs if workers unionize. High-profile fights between companies and unions can turn public sentiment against unions. Automation and offshoring Factories and companies today employ fewer blue-collar and manufacturing workers who traditionally joined unions. Automation and offshoring of jobs reduce the pool of potential union members. Hostile legal environment Efforts to weaken labor laws and restrict union political activities have made organizing more difficult. Limits on union membership and collective bargaining for public sector employees have also reduced membership. But some unions still strived in today's time. Here are some examples of successful unionization efforts in recent years. The Amazon Labor Union in 2022, workers at an Amazon warehouse on Staten Island, New York, voted to form the first Amazon union in the U.S. This was a major feat given Amazon's efforts to discourage unionization. The ALU now represents over 8,000 Amazon workers. Starbucks Workers United Since late 2021, Employees at over 250 Starbucks locations across the country have voted to unionize with Workers United. This represents the largest unionization effort in Starbucks history, with stores in 33 states now unionized. Graduate Student Unions Graduate students at over 30 private universities have unionized in recent years, joining public university grad students. Schools like Harvard, Columbia, Loyola Chicago and Brown now have graduate student unions. While labor unions have achieved significant victories, they continue to face challenges in the modern era. Globalization, automation, and anti-union legislation have posed new obstacles. However, unions like the Service Employees International Union and the United Auto Workers are adapting to these changes, advocating for fair wages, health care, and job security. Real-life examples such as the fight for $15 movement and the recent Amazon unionization efforts show that the fight for workers' rights is far from over. Beyond the workplace, labor unions have influenced politics and policy making, leading to significant advancements in labor laws, health care reform, and social security measures. Labor unions have transformed the USA, shaping the nation's history and ensuring that workers' voices are heard. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the transformative power of labor unions in the USA. If you found this video informative and inspiring, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.